I didn't realize how many emotions that I had to work through that I was not aware of that I was feeling. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here today. I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, why music is such a huge deal for me and how it's been so healing in my life and how it can be really healing in yours. Writing songs is a lot like journaling for me, except just with music. The first time I wrote my first song, I was 11 years old, which is crazy to me because that feels like such a long time ago. And it really was. It was a completely different time in my life. At that young age, I didn't realize how much guilt that I was carrying around um, because both my siblings had very severe medical issues and people compared us constantly. (laughs) Um, And people mean well, they really do. Um, But sometimes I don't think we realize the impact that our words can make, especially to people when they're so, so young. I was often labeled the healthy kid because I didn't have genetic disorders or I wasn't allergic to everything. So people would be like, oh, you're really lucky. You're the normal one. And again, it was all meant well, Um, but it really, really impacted me at that young age to be aware of the comparisons between me and my siblings and that hurt a lot but I didn't realize that I was feeling that right away. My sister weighed an unhealthy 65 pounds at the age 14 and while I was at a normal, completely normal healthy weight, people would say that I was big compared to her or wow you eat a lot of food compared to your sister, you should really slow down. and. Like, those comments really hurt because I was literally at a normal, very, very healthy weight and people would constantly compare us because she was 65 pounds. But what they had to remember is that being 65 pounds at 14 is not healthy. And people don't realize, you know, the comments that they can make can hurt when you compare people. Comparison, it's like literally the worst. Um, yeah, after years and years of hearing the same things over and over, um, I didn't realize how many emotions that I had to work through that I was not aware of that I was feeling. Um, There really is power in words of speaking something, Um, because sometimes you're not aware that you're feeling something, but once you verbalize it or write it down, wow, it becomes so real. And it just makes sense to you about everything that you've been feeling. So naturally, because my siblings had so many doctor appointments and like it was constant, there was literally I feel like there was doctor appointments like every day or like many times a week and and it was just crazy um, to the point that um, eventually my mom pulled us all out and homeschooled us because we just couldn't keep up with the schedule. So my brother would sometimes need to stay at the Ronald McDonald house and one time when we were there I found this old like light up keyboard in the basement and I had a total blast on that thing. Um, I had never really played piano or anything before that and my mom and dad saw how much fun I was having with that and it was kind of a good outlet for me while I was there so that Christmas they surprised me with buying me my first keyboard shout out to Casio for being amazing guys I love your keyboards they're so good (laughs) so I ended up staying up in my bedroom for hours and hours hours just writing about life I promise you guys I literally like had no life because I would wake up on a Saturday and I would set up my keyboard in my bedroom and literally play and write things all day I would like maybe service to like eat lunch and dinner and then eventually have to call it quits because like you know going to bed and stuff (laughs) 
I can't even tell you how many times I would do that. Like, I can't even do that now as an adult with, like, a normal adult schedule. <laughs> but, yeah, I was obsessed with that thing, and it quickly became such an outlet for me to express my feelings and emotions and put those into words. In fact, I didn't really understand the half of what I was feeling until I could write it on paper and see those words and understand just understand where I was at. Certain songs that I write can feel very transparent and personal to the point that it can sometimes feel scary to put it out there. It's like writing a diary entry and then posting it all over Facebook. <laughs> but what I realized is that somewhere out there, someone needs to hear the message and the story that you have to offer. Nobody else has a story just like yours. Your message is unique, and someone out there needs to hear it. It got to the point for me writing songs that it almost felt selfish to keep them to myself and to keep them in my bedroom, where only I could benefit from them. Because it occurred to me that if I am feeling these emotions, someone out there is probably feeling the same emotions too because the problem is when we go through struggles we isolate and we feel like we're the only people that go through that and nobody else understands the struggle that we are going through listen that is totally totally false every time you're going through a struggle i promise you someone out there is dealing with those exact same emotions I found that being transparent lets you know that you are never alone. It brings clarity to your situation and your feelings and lets you heal from all of those past hurts. I think that's what I love most about music. It starts the conversation on dealing with your hurts, overcoming them, and helping others along the way. Some people around you may be working through those same tough emotions. We're all on this life journey together, and some of us may have experienced those hurts a long time ago and have healed from them. There might be someone else who is just experiencing those hurts for the first time and is not quite sure on how to deal with those emotions. So we can be the ones to come alongside them and make an impact in their life and show them Jesus through it. So that is the real reason that I write music. I love it. It's so fun for me to do it. Um, it's harder to find time to do it as an adult, for sure. But it literally helped me process everything that I was feeling and to really come to a place of healing with that. And not only to come to a place of healing, but to also to share my story with others who are going through similar situations. That is something that I want for you to. You have a message and a story that needs to be shared. It needs to be shared. Someone out there is waiting to hear it. So, I am starting a new Facebook group. It's in the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. It's called Find Your Voice with Juliana Lane. I want to help you to understand your story and your message and what that is, to find your voice and to share that and express that with the world. Because I promise you, someone needs to hear it.